This dessert is made up of two simple ideas, flaky buttery pie crust and a chocolate pudding which is so deliciously just rich. Topped with mounds of whipped cream and my chocolate sauce swirled into it, it's perfect for chocolate lovers who want something that's not too sweet. Let's begin with the crust. Begin by adding some all-purpose flour, caster sugar and salt into the bowl of a food processor. We're going to blitz that until it all comes together. Then you're going to add some chilled unsalted butter in there and you're going to blitz this until you reach pea size or lentil size pieces of butter. I've got some cold water here and some vinegar and we're going to mix these two ingredients together. Then pour them into that crumbly buttery mixture and pulse until a dough forms. What's really awesome about the vinegar is it's actually a magic ingredient in this pie dough because it adds moisture making it easier to work with and roll out but it evaporates in the oven as it bakes and it doesn't leave any weird aftertaste. Pour your crumbly dough mixture onto a workbench. I've got a baking or pastry mat here. You can just use plastic wrap or baking paper to do this, but we're basically bunching that dough together to kind of form a rough disc. Once you've done that, you want to wrap this up in plastic wrap and this is going to go in the fridge to chill for an hour. Once it's chilled, I am going to dust my workbench with a little bit of flour and we're going to start rolling this dough out. Now, on the edges, you're going to see that cracks are going to start forming. You can just pinch those together as you roll out. Now, this is a really cool trick that I learned a while back. If you roll the pastry over your rolling pin, it makes transferring it and unrolling it onto your tart tin a lot easier. Speaking of tart tin, today we're going to be using a deep 3 inch tall 9 inch wide tart tin. This one has a removable bottom. When you're putting your pastry into your tart tin or pie dish, you don't want to stretch the dough to get it to the bottom. You want to help encourage it to naturally fall in there. That way as it bakes it won't shrink because you've stretched it. Once you've done that, another really cool trick to getting a nice even flat top is to actually use the rolling pin to just score it and cut the excess dough away. This is actually my favourite part of making pie dough and it's what I look forward to most pretty much every week. <laughs> use a fork to dock the bottom and add some holes. This is going to stop your dough from puffing up and becoming uneven in the oven. Another thing that's going to stop it from puffing up is adding some scrunched up baking paper and filling it with some baking beads or in my case much much cheaper alternative dried chickpeas. This is going to go on top of a baking tray and we're going to bake it for 15 minutes. Once it's baked for 15 minutes carefully lift out the baking beads. We're going to wrap the outside with some foil that's going to stop it from getting too brown as we bake it for a further 10 minutes. Once it's come out after its second baking, I'm going to use some egg white which I've just whisked up and we're going to brush the inside of the hot pie with the egg white. This is going to cook from the heat of the pie and it's going to help seal that pie crust so when we add the filling it doesn't make it soggy, it stays crisp. Set that aside and let's move on to that filling. Into a large mixing bowl we're going to be adding some caster sugar, cocoa powder, some cornstarch and we're going to whisk those ingredients together. Then we're going to add two eggs and two egg yolks and whisk that in. Next you're going to add about a quarter cup of hot milk and you're going to whisk that. That's going to help bring the temperature of this mixture up a little bit so that when you pour this into a large saucepan and add the rest of the hot milk, it won't cook the eggs. It'll just gently warm them up again. We want to whisk this using a whisk or a wooden spoon on medium high heat 
until the mixture thickens. It'll take about five or six minutes. Once it has thickened, you're gonna add some dark chocolate and whisk that in until it's melted. Pour that delicious mixture into your cooked tart shell, which I am gonna run through a sift because I wanna make sure that if there's any lumps in that chocolate pudding mixture, we don't have them in our delicious pie. Spread that around using a spatula and this is gonna go in the fridge to chill for a couple hours or overnight. The last thing we wanna prepare is the whipped cream on top and that's really easy. You're gonna add some heavy cream and vanilla extract to a large mixing bowl. Use an electric can mixer to whisk this to stiff peaks. We're ready to decorate this pie, so I'm just gonna take it out of the tart tin, which is really easy because again, this has a removable bottom. Then we're gonna add our whipped cream on top, drizzle some chocolate sauce on top of that, and just use a spatula or spoon to swirl that chocolate sauce into the cream. And guys, this is ready to slice and serve. The tart shell is crispy and the inside is so deliciously, decadently chocolatey. This pie is perfect for chocolate lovers. If you wanna try making it, the recipe is on my website, thescranline.com. Link for that is in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. If you'd like to see any more videos from me, they're up on screen right now. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.